trees are talking to each other underground, and they've been doing it for 450 million years. In 1997, scientist Suzanne Simard discovered mycorrhizal networks, an underground web of fungal threads connecting trees and plants. She called it the Wood Wide Web, and it's everywhere. Over 90% of all land plants are connected to this network. A single fungal organism can span hundreds of trees, cover nine square kilometers, and live for over 2,000 years. Through these fungal highways, trees share water, nitrogen, carbon, and minerals. They're trading resources. The fungi take 30% of the tree's sugar as payment for their delivery services. But they're not just sharing food, they're sending warnings. When aphids attack broad bean plants, they send chemical alarm signals through the network. Neighboring plants receive the warning and activate their defenses before the aphids even arrive. Older mother trees have the most fungal connections. They detect distress signals from sick or struggling neighbors and send them nutrients. They even recognize their relatives and favor them with more resources. Saplings growing in deep shade can't photosynthesize enough to survive. So mother trees feed them through the network, sending carbon and sugar to keep their offspring alive until they're tall enough to reach sunlight. This relationship is 450 million years old. It shaped how plants colonize land. Without mycorrhizal networks, most plants wouldn't exist. Forests aren't collections of individuals, they're superorganisms. Every step you take in a forest covers hundreds of kilometers of fungal threads beneath your feet. Trees aren't competing, they're cooperating. The forest is one massive, ancient, living internet. Next time you hug a tree, remember, it's connected to the entire forest.